So this fleece is an English Leicester fleece, a white English Leicester. Because the fleece has been sitting tucked away in a wool pack for about six years, the lanolin has gone a goldy yellow colour and feels quite waxy. Now that is the staple of this one. This is actually a whole fleece and would weigh, oh, I'm pretty sure it hasn't been skirted actually. I've just tucked it away because I can see there's a bit of skirting needs doing. But it probably weighs about five, five and a half kilos, maybe six. So I'm not going to dye it all. I'll just dye a little bit to show you how the earth palette dyes the fleece before you wash it. Without washing, I'm just going to um, dye part of this with English, uh, sorry, with earth palette dyes and um, show you how it comes up, even though it's six years old and it's got quite a lot of grease and waxy grease at that in it. So I'll just be back in a minute after I've just separated out part of this to put on to soak. So I've, I've um, pulled off part of the fleece to dye. Um, that's the top of it. It has been coated, so there's no real vegetable matter in the ends and it's not really weathered on the ends. And this is the underside. And then, of course, that's the staple length. So it's quite a bit of dirt in the ends, but that's just sweat. And a lot of that will come off because in this first soak, before we dye it, I just soak them to make sure that they um, get the dye adhered to them so it doesn't just rinse off. I just put, look at that, a working zip. And um, I've got my bucket here. And in here, I've just got cold water, with a bit of fixative A, which is a surfactant or a detergent in it, without enzyme added and a little bit of citric acid, but you could use vinegar. And I'm just gonna push it down in there and leave it until I get back to it, hopefully this afternoon, but it might be tomorrow, I think. Okay, I just realized my microphone wasn't plugged in, which was a bit of a shame. So, now, so this is our English Leicester fleece. This is the tips of it. This side up, so it's the, that's the side that was on the, um, the outside of the sheet, like um, the tips against the coat. And I'll show you, this is the underside, where it was shorn and off the sheep. Okay, well I might actually put the dye on the tip side, because um, I like to have the tips nicely dyed. And... Um, see how the colours come up. I'll just move it around a bit so that I've got it nice and close in the camera's view. So this time I've chosen a few colours. I've got a bit of chartreuse on this one and once again I, um, I do have the fixative A which is a surfactant in all of these dyes already made up as per the instructions on the, on the fleece, uh, sorry, on the dye bottle for greasy fleece. And there is still quite a bit of grease in here. Some of the dirt has come out, but there is still quite a bit of grease in it. Okay. Then we'll have, oh, we've done that the wrong way. We should have done it, oh, well, not to worry. I was going to do yellow first and then chartreuse because turquoise comes next. Oh well, not to worry. Okay, chartreuse, uh, sorry, turquoise. I will be chartreuse right on the mix there. Violet. And then we've got brilliant red. And lastly, orange. So now I'm just going to scrunch it in. I'll start this in so I don't contaminate the dyes quite so much. Wipe my hands in between. And then 
package it up. I mean, if you don't want to use this palette wrapping that I'm using, you can just put it into a, a like a rubbish bag or even clear plastic bags and um, set it out in a warm place overnight and it will still set. But because it's cold here, I'm actually going to steam these for 15 minutes and let them set and I will come back tomorrow and show you how they look once they're all rinsed out. So this is our English Leicester fleece that we dyed in the beginning of the video. It's steamed yesterday and then set overnight to set and cool down. There's still a bit of dye in it, but you will some of the dye will stick to the grease in the fleece and um, won't adhere to the fibre because it'll, <coughs> excuse me, stuck to the fleece. But I'll put this in my spinner, spin the water out, and I'll come back and show it to you as I do the first rinse so that you can see how much dye and how much dirty water comes out. Look at this, one of those precious zips working. I thought I'd bring it back and actually show you this working zip. That's so rare around here. Okay, so this is our English Leicester, white English Leicester fibre that we dyed. Fleece tends to hang together quite well like this because in amongst the staples of lengthwise, like when it grows from the tips onto the sheet, there's also a few little cross fibres that help to hang it together. So if you've ever seen them throw a fleece in the shearing shed, that's what happens. But it, does, it is pretty easy to... Um, come apart though. Let me see, where are we? Yep, that's where we are. Okay, so as you can see, this has dyed quite well. It's pretty good actually, I quite like it. And um, But it's still a bit dirty on the tips. You can see it really on the yellows. There's still a bit of dirt on the tips. But we'll rinse it out. I'll rinse it just in cold water for a start to get out any excess dye or um, a little bit more dirt and some of the detergent so I'm just going to push it down into here as long as you keep the water cold and don't like rub it too much turn it over push it down a couple of times I like to leave it soaking in there for about half an hour actually until my water's hot enough to wash it I have to heat the water out here in my studio because I don't have hot water on tap and then I would just leave it in there for however long it takes maybe half an hour 20 minutes in this bucket, I'll leave it in there, um, spin the water out and then give it a hot wash with Tantec Fibre Scour, rinse it and then it'll, I'll hang it to dry. So we're back with our English Leicester Fibre here in its zip up bag. Um, in this bucket, it's very hot water actually, so I don't want to put my hands up in there too much. This is very hot water and it's got the Tantec Fibre Scour in it. For the last wash which has tea tree oil and it also has lemon myrtle it's an australian made product for scouring fibers you can use it for wool alpaca whatever um now so i'm just going to put our english leicester white english leicester that's been dyed into here poke it with my little handy doodad a few times to make sure it's all got hot water soaked into it let me see if I can there's not a lot of dirt left in this really but I will leave it in there for about 10 minutes to make sure all the lanolin dissolves that's left in there and um, then I'll rinse it out in a similar temperature water I want to take that wool out before that water gets cold to make sure that the lanolin doesn't resettle back on the fibers so 10-15 um, minutes and then I'll spin it out rinse it out and leave it to dry and I'll show what it looks like once it's dry. So this is our English Leicester fleece. As you can see, it's come up pretty cool. The colors are nice and bright and considering this fleece had so much wax um, in it and had been sitting for six years, it's actually come up pretty good. I can't really feel any wax in it or any grease in it. This one here, the tips could be a little bit cleaner but that'll brush out as you're prepping it for spinning or whatever else you're going to do with it so you know so what was that one that was your the chartreuse on the end that we did and then we did yellow where and it's mixed a little bit with the turquoise to make a green let's try to pull that one out so it's got a bit of green in it 
and then the turquoise the violet let me just try and get a little bit of that out here where's a nice one to choose that one just a bit of it perhaps you can see it's got a bit of variegation from where the turquoise was in was um, in it this was the brilliant red I think oh, sorry. and the orange oh that one's got a bit of pink in it actually I think this was pink not brilliant red let's try a bit just orange okay so it's a nice long staple it is still a little bit damp so I'll leave it to dry a little bit longer but as you can see so this is the top side that was the tips of it and then the underside which was against the sheep but um, pretty cool still a little bit of vegetable matter and stuff in it but nothing serious that'll comb out nicely as you're prepping it for spinning or whatever you're going to do with it so I hope you've enjoyed this video please feel free to give us a like and share us and subscribe um, if you if there's anything you particularly like to see me do with the earth palette dice please feel free to put it in the comments below and um, thanks for joining us I'll see you next time